Hi there, this is Andy from Totally Forex, and today we'll go over the mobile version of MetaTrader 4 platform for Android phones. To start on the MT4 mobile version, you will need to download the MT4 application. To do that, simply open your Google Store and search for MT4. It's really hard to miss. Dependence of what broker you may have chosen to create an account with, there is one application to download. The first step will be to log into your account. To do that, Tap the three horizontal lines on the top left side, then tap Manage Accounts and finally tap the plus icon. Pick Login to an existing account, then enter the name of the broker you have created an account with, for example FBS, tap on it and enter your login and password. Some companies have more than one server, so make sure you choose the one that you have created the account with. This information can always be found on your dashboard on their website or on the email you have received by them. Anyway, once you have added your login and password, log in. Congrats, you have now logged into your account through your phone, assuming you entered the right info. The quote section is the main section of the application, and as you have probably guessed, this is where you see some of the symbols available for you to trade. To add more symbols, tap the plus icon on the top right side, and now depending on the broker, you may get a few more options. In our screen, now we get just Forex, but again, depending on your broker, you may have more. So for this one, click Forex, go through the symbols and pick the one you would like, for example, silver. Tap on it once and it has been added. To get back to quotes, tap the back add symbol on the top left side. Now you are back to quotes and if you scroll down, you will be able to see silver versus USD we just added. To remove a trading pair from your main quote screen, tap the pencil image on the top right side. Then tap on the trust icon once, this will give you pick options next to each pair. Check market or them and then click the trust icon once more and the symbol or symbols will be removed from your quote screen. To get back, tap selected symbols on the top left side. To move the purse around to your liking, tap the pencil icon once more. Then tap the three lines next to each symbol and scroll them up or down to your liking. Once you are finished, tap the selected symbols on the top left and get back to the quotes. From here and by tapping on any of the pairs you can place a new order, open the chart, look at simple properties or select advanced view mode. Starting with new order, once you tap it, you get the pair on an exclusive screen. You can change the symbol by tapping on the dollar sign on the top right side and choose the one you like. Keep in mind the choices you will have are based on the pairs you have or you added on your quote screen. So if you don't see a pair you would like to trade here, go back and add it by using the path we followed earlier. We will get on how to place an order a bit later on the video after we make ourselves fully aware of the application, so please bear with us. The second option from tapping a pair is the chart. Tapping on it will open the pair's chart for you. The application will memorize your latest open chart, which means if you tap anywhere on the application and tap the chart image after the same pair will be there. To switch pair on the chart, you either go to quotes and tap on any pair and pick a chart or from within the chart, tap on the dollar symbol and the drop down with the pairs you follow will appear. That way you can switch pairs without having to go back to quotes each time. Tapping properties will provide you info such as spread, contract size, swaps and so on. The next major section on the application is the chart and we briefly touched base earlier. We already know how to change charts by tapping the dollar symbol and getting the drop down options. This section however offers way more options. First, let's start with the time frames. Currently the chart is in 30 minutes time frame. To change that, tap anywhere inside the chart and the circle with more options which include time frames will appear. Pick the one that works best for you, for example I will pick 15 minutes, as you can see the chart changed. You can also click the clock icon on the top right side and from the drop down to switch time frames as well. Moving on, the first icon on the toolbar is the target one. By tapping it, you see the target cross appearing in your screen. That allows you to check a specific time and price accurately. The next option is the calligraphic symbol F, which gives you access to the indicators. To add an indicator, simply tap on one from the list. On the next screen, pick your settings and tap done you will see it appear on your chart automatically. To remove it, tap F, trust icon, mark it and tap trust icon again to remove it. The next icon appearing above is the dollar symbol which, as we already mentioned, allows you to switch symbols on the charts. 
The last icon is the new order and by tapping it, it allows you to place an order. Back on the circle of tools now, there are two more options we have not looked at. The first one is the objects icon. This allows you to add objects like uh, channels, Fibonacci, Elliott waves and shapes. To place the object on your chart, pick the one you want, let's pick a horizontal line for example, and tap anywhere inside the chart. By scrolling it up or down, you can switch its place. Now if you tap and hold on the line or the object you picked, you will get the option to edit or to delete it. As you can see on the top of your phone screen, the name of the object and the two options are available. Tapping on the pencil, you can change name, point and the color of the line. Once you finish your changes, tap done and you will return back to the chart. If you tap the trust icon, the object will be deleted. To get to the settings of the chart, tap the three horizontal lines on the top left side and pick settings. From there, you can add OHLC, which stands for open, high, low and close prices. So trade levels, have the ask price appear and so on. Last, you can change the color, seam or colors of the chart. The seams available are black on white, which is by set by default and green on black. You can also customize it. Feel free to create the chart of your choice. The next main function on the application is trade. Here you can see your balance, equity margin, free margin and margin level. For better demonstrating this function, I have opened a few orders. We will get on how to shortly as well. So in the trade market, you can check your open orders and how well they perform in the market or how bad. By tapping on any of them and holding for a second, you can close the position, modify it, open another trade or transfer to the chart. The history tab allows you to check your profit or loss, deposits or balance. You can pick specific symbols or all by tapping the dollar sign above. You can choose ascending or descending order and last you can pick specific dates to run the history. The other two tabs on your toolbar are the news and messaging and if you connect to the MQL5 community you can easily use them. The last thing to check prior we get to place orders is the settings. To do that tap the three horizontal lines on the top left side. From there you have the option to navigate again through the application and pick quotes, trade, history, account monitoring and so on. Now that we are familiar with what the application has to offer, it is time to place orders and finally see how that part works. There are a few ways to place an order and we will try to cover them all. First tap quotes so you can get all the symbols you follow. Then tap the one you want to open an order, for example your USD. On the options appear tap new order. Once on this screen you can buy or sell fast but you also have the option to add stop loss, take profit and deviation. Once these are set, tap buy or sell. In case the price changes, you will get a pop-up saying you have been requoted and if you want to accept the new quotes. Congrats, your order has been placed. You will be prompted automatically to the Traders tab, so you can check the performance of your new order. You can get to the trading interface from various tabs and follow the same procedure as above to place the order. For example, you can enter the trading interface from within the chart, just tap new order on the top right side, or from the Traders tab by doing exactly the same thing. Additionally, you can tap and hold for a second in one of your existing orders and you will get the option to open a new order. Dependless the way you get to the trading interface, the procedure to place an order is the same as we described a few minutes earlier. To close an order or to modify it, tap and hold on an open order in the traders tab until the options appears below and choose accordingly. If you tap the close order, you get the option to do it on the next screen by tapping the close with profit or loss depends on your situation. Just tap it and it is done. If you tap modify, you get the option to add or change your existing stop loss and take profit. To do that, just tap on the stop loss or take profit tabs on your screen or manually enter the values. Once you have added your preferred values, tap modify. MT4 for Android is a well-built application that allows traders a quick and reliable way to trade on the go. You can buy, sell or modify your orders anytime you would like without being in front of your PC or laptop. Thank you for watching our walkthrough video on the MT4 application for Android. We really hope that it helped you familiarize yourself with the platform. If it did, please leave a comment, like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos which will expand from broker reviews and tutorials to indicators and strategies.